right for Canada. We've been left behind. We've been left out of the loop. The government needs to pay attention to what us Canadian types say. And I'm here today just to kind of give you information that you can probably use when you talk to your elected people, or better yet, the people who want the job, who want to get elected. I was recently at a Starbucks, kind of jumping around here, at a Safeway store in Kelowna, British Columbia. Yeah, you get it. And I went to give the girl a tip. I've done it before. I've shopped there many times. And she said, no more tips. How come? She said, well, actually, we work at Safeway. I said, no kidding, I'm here. And she said, it's a unionized place and everybody's mad at us, so there's no more tips. And I said, I'll give you a tip. Get out of the union, BC Premier uh, Horgan. He says that we're going to fight forever with regard to uh, the Trans Mountain pipeline and we're going to restrict the flow of oil from Alberta. I guess he's saying we don't like Alberta, we don't like oil, we don't like gas, or we don't like cars. I mean, the guy is in, is in a different place, right? I mean, because it doesn't make any sense. And then he's angry, though, when Alberta stops sending him oil. I'm not too sure what he really wants. Nobody knows. Nobody can understand it. I mean, oil is good. Oil, fossil fuels, they drive everything that we drive, literally. I mean, what's your problem? I, I don't get it. Trans Mountain Pipeline has now been approved. I, I, I think that that's just election posturing by the Liberal government. They have no intent to build a pipeline. I mean, they've gone out of their way over the years to say that they would never build a pipeline. Now they've nationalized it, they overpaid for a pipeline, and now they're also saying that Indians can put the money in, which is really your money, assuming you're not an Indian, and, and now the Indians will own it with your money, and the government kind of owns it, and you get to use it. None of it adds up, and it's going to take many, many years. I mean, check out Venezuela and other countries that have oil, and, and they also have mismanagement of, of everything, oil, of course, but the whole country, we're led by fools, right? I mean, it's happy in Canada. We need a new government because the people that we have, I, I mean, it just doesn't compute. They're unable to do it. They couldn't manage a two-person barbecue and we have them running our country. Boy, oh boy. The more I travel, the more I'm encountered by stupidity, right, of our government. Ultimately, this ain't about people, but I'm in airports. And, and when you work at an airport in a security line, the theory is, is that you should be able to speak the language of the country that you work for, right? And, and recently, I was in Edmonton Airport and Calgary Airport and Toronto Airport all in one day. And, and I think I'm the only English guy around. I mean, I'm thinking, wow, I don't care what color you are, but can't you get a better command of the English language? Surely to goodness. And then when I get to Toronto, I, my, I have had an issue with my TELUS cell phone. So I call TELUS and I get somebody in the Philippines that can't speak English. And then I hang up because I'm angry and frustrated. And I phone again and somebody in Mexico answers it and they can't speak English. Whatever happened to English? I, I kind of thought that was a good thing. I mean, I, if you agree with me, that's another call to action to tell the people in government. Make sure people are qualified. Go to Japan. Move there if you're a white Anglo-Saxon guy. Move to Japan and, and don't speak their language and get a government job. I mean, you'll get lynched. Good bloody grief. Uh, national sovereignty. The Trudeau government, the prime mistake, he, he works every day at, at destroying our sovereignty. The Liberal government spends billions and billions of dollars trying to cozy up, I guess, the United Nations, but they're a dysfunctional organization. So why our country is cozying up and cuddling and having a little love fest with the United Nations, why they're doing that, it's, it's a mystery to everybody except, I guess, this small little group of Liberal people that, that somehow got elected to office, so make sure they don't get elected next time because you know what? With all the bad things that they're doing, the Liberal government of Canada, if you vote for them, you hate your country. See ya.